Alright, today I have an interesting video for y'all. After I made this video a few months back, I've been looking for more animation YouTubers, and on that search, I found one that really surprised me. The channel is called Takina, and is run by a Japanese creator named Takina Nego. He's been on YouTube for over a decade now, and has created several short films through mostly claymations. What's so cool about this channel is not only the claymations, but is the extraordinary revolting imagery used on pretty much all of his work. After watching all of Takina's original works, I was baffled at some of the de depictions discovered. So today, I wanted to elaborate more about that on the channel, as well as highlight some freakish pieces. So the first short I want to talk about is Bloody Night. This one was uploaded back in April 2006. The short is made in 144p resolution with no audio, as most of these shorts were in the beginning. The story goes like this. A girl discovers a red monster and is frightened by it. She runs away and bumps into an older gentleman who assists the girl on her threat. He grabs a bat and ruffles with the monster for a few moments. There was a silence as the girl got closer to the two. The man stood up and immediately gags out blood that covers the entire girl with blood. The monster throws the corpse aside and continues chasing the girl. Finally, the girl is saved by a police officer. He shoots the creature multiple times until he shoots it in its face, which ends up killing it as yellow stuff starts pouring out of its body. The thing special about this horror story is that it was uploaded when YouTube was about a year old. This was one of the first animations uploaded onto the platform at the time. It was one of the first to dabble into the horror genre. The trend will continue of course, but the clay animation is rough on some parts, but also is divine in other parts where it sets the tone and depicts this gruesome scene that's pretty revolting. A good way to compare it is to a movie like Rudolph, where at some points the movie just seems very unsettling at times. And about a year later, around around here, is when Takina became something more. Sure, the shorts were gory, don't get me wrong, but they were more, how do I put this, sexual. The next work I'd like to talk about is Chainsaw Maid. Now this one is really gory, so I won't be able to completely go into it, but I'll briefly mention things. First off, they made a sexual innuendo, which felt a little, a little random. But the Takina lore exists for a reason. To sum it up, a maid ends up saving the family she works for from a zombie invasion by chainsawing through all the zombies. It was a really gruesome video of guts and blood everywhere, but was definitely not a bad short. One thing to mention that I think is really cool is the short is the most popular of his, and is also the first to get a DVD release. Unfortunately, you can only order the item in Japan and have it work, but it's pretty cool to see that someone was able to produce something relatively big. The final video I want to talk about is, quite simply, his lemon shorts. These have dark twists thrown in there, but for the most part, it is a simple concept of just a superhero who is lemon. And apparently, from what I've gathered, this was some type of commercial by Takina and his team, which is definitely amazing to see this come from someone who started out as a YouTuber. Now, there are plenty of other videos that I did watch, however, most I simply just cannot show from the content that, that they showed, whether it be the gore or some of the some of the sexual parts. I'm looking at you, pussycat. Now, what about the present? What is Takina up to now? Well, he has multiple different socials, including a website. On his Twitter, he is still active with typical likes and retweets of pop culture, and I guess politics of Japan at the, at the current moment. If you head to his Patreon, his last update was a new short in the works. So I'm, I'm pretty hyped for that. And his website has other types of information and art created by him. Unfortunately, however, I was unable to translate the page, so I couldn't get much out of it, but if you have time, it's probably worth checking out. In conclusion, I was pretty surprised to find a foreign creator who has been animating for over a decade, and it's pretty crazy. His work is really good, and it takes a lot of time, so shoutouts to, of course, his team. His last work was posted almost a year ago, and I can't wait to see more of what Takina has in store for all of us. But that'll do it for the video. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on Takina's work is. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.